using the new EPC 901 with the Intel Atom processor. And look, it's even offering you a kind of Dolby sound system. Well, that's what the sticker says. And it's having a different design compared to the EPC 900. Here right now, over here. That's the Windows version. And if I'm comparing this to my EPC 900, see it's pretty much the same size. It seems to be a little bit higher when it comes to the display. But, oh sorry, even the touchpad is different. We have right now two separate keys for the left and the right mouse button. Um, the keyboard is it's just the same, so maybe we should just check a little bit of the performance. Let's see how it's booting up and how long it takes to go or to get onto the Windows desktop. As you can see over here, we have some new keys. So, the layout is a little bit different. Right now it also comes with a Windows key. Oh, it seems that we are that we are having an overclocking button. I can change the resolution over here with one fingertip. I can switch off the screen. And I can switch over to the high performance mode or the power saving mode just with one. Okay, there we go. Now the startup sequence is just starting. Let's see how fast it boots. So that's about 30 seconds to get onto the desktop.